Okay, aloha everyone. A miracle way, Hualukahi King. Salamat, aloha everyone. Blessings on this exquisite day. I am here on the island of the gods in Bali in the Lotus Pool, which is my home. And stewarding this celestial sanctuary, it has been a real deep time in the last five or six moon cycles that I haven't really shared much. It's been an immersion into projects and back to returning to the source of the God essence of Mother Mama Bali. And I felt the call on this new now moment in this new lunar solar year as we just passed the Asian New Year of the Emerald Dragon, and we're in it now. Feeling the call today in this moment to really present the art of thriving in NI, natural intelligence. And as opposed to as many humans who are choosing to prompt or get involved with AI, I felt really called to bring out the story of NI because it is not a new narrative. It is actually a very ancient future one. And some of you on this video are not choosing to be part of the artificial intelligence transhumanist agenda. And I honor and salute you for I believe that the noble path to really working with the seven kingdoms is to reawaken humanity to NI. So there is very much a moment here in time as we move into 2024 and we progress that this agenda is going to start technocratically imploding. It is in that disorganization, that chaotic implosion that natural intelligence will start to shift out of this artificiality of the planet. People are moving like droves from one location to another. We're seeing epic amounts of protests against these initiatives. We are seeing rebellion on so many different forms because general Humanity and the soul of collective humanity is just done. They are finished with these nefarious, sinister force agendas. And the way that we who are choosing to live in natural intelligence can move forward is to start to band together with those that are also choosing to move their attention more off screen and into the beautiful earth, into the beautiful waters, and start planting their seeds, start planting their gardens, start moving their consciousness closer and closer to the natural world. And of course, I've talked about this hundreds of times, 
uh, in my time online moving through my community portal channel. But I can't stop talking about it because we're now having to choose to thrive off grid and totally supernaturally online. And what I mean by supernaturally online is that natural intelligence gives us an opportunity to become supernatural and move beyond this artificial or fake or false or manipulative or the charm of the screen illusion. If we can find a way to navigate, even if we're choosing to be partial. So these names are all coming from this sacred manuscript called the Holy Megillah. And I reference it because as I talked to you in my last video, the Holy Megillah has really helped me to really synthesize many years of information, of personal insight, personal rites of passage, as well as what I taught for 15 years and all the different literary works that I've been able to read and digest and integrate and then apply into my life. Not only in my work with Communiversity and the 330 page plan that we created, but also in the distillation of what it is that we can pursue when our heart and our soul desires to deepen into the true authentic knowledge that was spoken by the Nazarene Essenes and their Bible, which is called the Holy Megillah. And they talk about the naturals in the last of days. And we are now officially in the last of days. And what that means is we are in the beginning of the Kali Yuga, but we're in this transition period in the last of the days. And the last of the days is really represented by the seven trumpets that were a prophecy spoken in one of the Gospels of the Holy Megillah. And basically, we just, about two weeks ago, Elon Musk announced that they successfully implanted the silicon AI chip, smart chip, into a human body in a surgery to insert this chip into the pineal gland or just above the pineal gland to ultimately replace the pineal gland. This was talked about in the Holy Megillah as one of the seven trumpets. It's actually the sixth trumpet. The fifth trumpet was the two towers of 9-11. The sixth trumpet is the first successful surgery implant of a smartphone silicon chip into the human brain. Therefore, beginning the trumpeting, the sound of the phase of the prophecy of humans choosing to become artificial brains. No longer natural human brain intelligence, but artificial brain human intelligence and eventually the human will no longer exist in that equation. So we have now passed into sixth trumpet because these prophecies in these gospels don't talk about dates or times like 1190 AD or 2030 AD. It's actually events that occur. And so this event has now officially occurred and now we now have the seventh trumpet and the seventh trumpet is actually going to be the destruction of the White House in the land of the Eagle, which is in Washington, D.C. And it will be perpetrated by the people of the Crescent Moon, which is obviously in the Middle East and the Islamic nation. So this is actually a seventh trumpet prophecy. And once that happens then we are officially in the end of the last of days and then it's supposedly going to get all downhill from there and those that are in natural intelligence will have to choose to really hunker down and be the sparks all around this planet every single country no matter the creed the religion the race all the different parts that are being judged and separate to bring 
so much deep love through supernal love, which is bhakti, which is devotional love, to the consciousness of the Lord and Lady Christ. So this Christic consciousness is both a unified field, a sacred union consciousness, which is honoring the divine feminine and the sacred masculine as one. This will allow the naturals who will be very few, supposedly there will only be 144,000 that will be fully in NI, natural intelligence. There will be many partials who will choose to get some form of the chip either in the wrist or in the brain or some other location in the body. They will be implanted with an artificial implant of metallic origin it will be a non-organic substance that will hold AI into the body. And the reason why this is so important, because if you look at physics, in order for energy to move from one location to another, you have to have a point of origin and you have to have a point of destination. So you have to have an A and a B. So right now, dimensionally, all dimensions are open because Earth is in a free-for-all for other types of entities, non-incarnated, disembodied entities, mainly of astral, demonic origin, and etheric, demonic origin, who really desire to have a flesh, organic body. But the only way they can download or translate in is if they have a point of origin that consents with their will to receive point B, which would be an implant. So when you consent to a point B in the body with an artificial implant, then you all of a sudden can give a runway, so to speak, right? If it's sort of a plane of consciousness, a ship of consciousness, you give the ship a docking station inside your organic flesh. So these non-organic, organized dark ones are wanting to create a nanotechnology AI innerverse inside every single cell of the human body, which will then allow them to dock into your body and eventually kick out the soul but the soul is eternal so the trick is they have to convince the human soul to consent to be enslaved light so instead of artificial intelligence the artificial brain will become the human brain and replace organic intelligence which then becomes eventual enslaved light. And then that's where we're going to eventually see cybernetics become cyborgism. And that's where those that are partial are going to, many of them are going to choose full implantation of cyborgism, which will then be full artificiality. So full artificiality are these enslaved light protocols that are luciferic and demonic in its foundational nature by these fallen ones and of course this is talked about on some level in revelations in the bible but actually the holy megillah talks about this much more specifically and in a much more focused way that was obviously taken out of the current versions of the Bible. And now the artificial ones have, some people have noticed this in the last 10 years, but even the Bible that we know about in many different Christian Catholic churches have been completely manipulated. We have NI, then we have, which is natural intelligence, then we have partials, and then we have full AI, which leads to artificiality, cyborgism. So we have these three different groupings. And this is the key point right now to understand. 
if you're choosing to prompt or engage with, with any of the programmed AI, which are like ChatGPT, MidJourney, and, and many others that have come out. There's, there's thousands of them now because it's been over a year since ChatGPT, the first artificially intelligent program, was released. That these are programmed energies and that they are not open source and free. They are open loop but programmed. So what that means is that the open loop allows you to think it's open source, that this information is for your benefit. It's going to 10, 20, 100x your profit, make you more money. It's going to quicken your ability to uh, do literary works or to create music notation or uh, completely abuse architectural design and your beautiful original art pieces and fuse it into a new conglomeration and collaboration when you choose to prompt AI. But actually, it's the biggest hijacking of human intelligence, organic in nature, ever. And yes, right now, it's kindergarten. Right now, it's first grade. Right now, it's second grade. And people are already being wowed by it in their brains, saying, wow, it's making life so much easier and all those neurochemicals of I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to do less and I'm gonna have more time to play and have fun, but also, I'm gonna be able to make more money and not do all the stupid boring things that I don't ever wanna do. But actually all of that is hard work that is part of the training of the yoga of karma. And so when we all of a sudden say, oh, our karma is just gonna move towards these artificially intelligent machines and these different programs, we are no longer taking universal responsibility for who we truly are. And the simplicity of the timeline when we do these simple jobs, when we do these simple things that may take a lot of time, but actually within those frameworks of time, we're able to use our thinking brain. And that's the key thing is our thinking intelligence that allows the human soul to be in a meditative environment to be in walking samadhi, meaning everything that you are choosing to do when you're walking your waking day allows those neurons to be entrained as a muscle to connect with divine intelligence. So all of a sudden, the synapses in your brain are relying on artificial substances that do not have the organic human's best interests involve in the future now. It is a track that is seemingly great right now, and many partials are gonna choose it, but then eventually, all of a sudden, it'll be too late because we will have a digitized world where your monetary funds will be in a CBDC, you will not be able to travel or move because you will be in a caste system, okay? From untouchables, just like in India, just like in China, right? Where the untouchables will no longer be sovereign, will no longer have autonomy. You will no longer have the freedom of free will because you've chosen to give it away by creating a landing pad inside of yourself to be hijacked to be inserted by something non-organic something that is not part of the divine eternal soul and that's the key point is that if you choose with your free will to remove all the metals both heavy metals inside of the blood as well as all of implants of whatever you got from the, you know, and everything else, you can remove those things right now in certain 21 day, three week, 40 day protocols. Seek and you shall find. We are still in a timeline. It's getting to the edge of this timeline where you can still choose. 
And for those of you who have already chosen your path of NI, oh, I am so grateful for you because you are one of the many few. And it is our responsibility to help and assist and support and serve the partials who are choosing to get implanted, who are choosing to get involved with AI. Now the AI is now moving through the Neuralink, this is the next step. And it's gonna take some time, but it's gonna depend on other humans' choices to get inserted with these implants. And eventually, we are going to have this reality potentially of one part of human artificials judging the human partials as well as the human naturals. And I say this because in the Holy Megillah, it talks about this reality all of a sudden becoming true. And we're seeing this right now because the amount of separation happening both in the Western world is unprecedented. And those of us who are choosing to thrive in the art of NI, how can we continue to not only thrive in this, but also be in our absolute joy and our absolute happiness within this. And I really truly believe and know and feel and have integrated and applied that into my body that we have to get closer to the earth. We have to be earthed, we have to be grounded, we have to put our feet and our hands and even our body into the earth more routinely. And if that takes you to learn permaculture, if that takes you to learn centropic agriculture, if that takes you to reread the Anastasia Ringing Cedar books, the 10 books of that came from primordial Ved Rus in Siberia, from the mystic woman Anastasia who talks about putting the seed, if you have a garden of your carrot, of your beets, of your squashes, of whatever, into the mouth, underneath the tongue for nine minutes, commune with those true organic heirloom seeds, plant them in the garden, okay? All of us have to become farmers. And this comes when there are, like every single country in Europe is protesting the farming, great reset, carbon bullshit, carbon neutral protocols, okay? You can look it up. It's not in the mainstream, lame news, lame stream news, but you can look it up. Every single European country is protesting this. So that means that if the farmers are protesting, that means every single family around the world has to choose to have the willpower to choose to get back to the earth and garden every day. So that's one way to thrive. The other way to thrive is to move your body, is to breathe the clean air. And that means if you have to move out of chemtrailed areas, you need to do that as best you can, or you set up a pyramid, you set up a Faraday cage, you set up a way to basically clean the air in your biofield in your environment where your your family resides your children reside okay you got to breathe clean air okay that's another thriving protocol the third thriving protocol i'd say is you have to get clean water so of course get the filter if you're in the cities if you can get out of the cities if you can move into rural areas and you get a plot of land if you can move into those areas and make sure you have a deep well okay and you're able to get alkaline water you're able to get uh, alkaline rich water this is incredibly important because the elites are buying up all the good farmlands they're going to Hawaii they're going to many locations even here in Bali and other areas in Indonesia they're going to you know many of these sacred vortexes around they're buying up all kinds of land okay and they're trying to buy up all the water rights all right these technocratic billionaires in many different places so that means the humble man and woman children family unit okay the man is the king of the family he's the kin he's the god of your kin the k-i-n and the g at the end is you are the god of your kin you're the king i'm miracle way while lokahi king okay i'm simply king just means i'm the god of my line the kin means the lineage 
It means the age of your line. You're responsible for the age of your line. The line that is seven generations back and seven generations into the future. So I personally am the mother, father, goddess within me, the sacred union within myself of my line, of my kin. And I have that responsibility to make sure that the next seven generations and beyond have clean air, have purified water, have incredible soil that's fertilized, that is pH friendly, that is uh, able to, to help seeds and intelligence to grow. And this is where we get back to the protocols of the Ringing Cedars and Anastasia, these books that came out and that I went and did a whole film about called New Earth Destiny. When I was uh, uh, traveling through Russia and was able to meet these eco villages uh, all the way from Siberia to the Black Sea and even into Ukraine. And, you know, these places, these people have nothing to do with the frickin' war. They have nothing to do with violence. They're literally living off grid, no technology, and they are choosing to love the earth more than ever before. And this is one of the things the Holy Megila talks about is that these Nazarene Essenes are fully immersed into gardening, fully immersed into connecting with nature and fully immersed with connecting with the Fae people and the elementals uh, and the five basic elements and coming back into that nourishment and nurturance of the Mother Earth. And we're going to need to do this and desire this more than ever before in this year of 2024 before it becomes too late because the earth is going to protect us the elementals that we focus our human enlightened brain and our heart of intelligence into the earth we are going to move in the direction of protection by the earth and connecting into this divine yah consciousness this intelligence of this pathway this dharma and if we can continue to nurture our love for the earth continue to sing breathe move dance make music grow food these simple simple things that will help us to create a field of unity and a field of protection that will allow the energetic divine rainbow jewel bridge to connect us into the true new now of this earth because we have greater benevolent intelligences that are here on a multi-dimensional level that want us to step into becoming and thriving as one of the 144,000 living light messengers so it just takes 144,000 of us human beings divine self master on the path choosing to show up in full self-love to do this work every single breath every single waking dream and dreamless day to ignite the billions to come back home and we have this universal responsibility this ability to respond right now to thrive and to be in this beauty way and this is what i'm choosing to be feel, sense, intuit, nourish, nurture, nest, and ground into this epic sanctuary here in Ubud, Bali, as well as in the North Shore at my uh, waterfall land, and continue to grow gardens, continue just to nurture myself into the earth, and share and facilitate and bring these protocols out so that we can continue to be simple humans, to be humble, to be so devoted to the sacred chinitization of divine intelligence, Yah consciousness, to the sacred masculine of Jah and the sacred feminine of Jah Na consciousness. And this trinitization is giving us the holy power to be able to go beyond all of this ignorance and confusion, all of this artificiality, and move into Satchitananda, which is existence bliss absolute. There are many things 
that I've been working on, especially in the past year, that I'm going to be specifically moving forwards in. One of those things is called the Zero Light Chamber Project, which I've been working with BioArc Technologies. And it is something that we have been cultivating with our hearts, our brains, our minds to be able to really help people immerse themselves in light fasting or light deprivation. Now, obviously, a lot of you know that I became miracle by immersing myself in a semi-light deprivised chamber of my own creation in Singapore for 70 days, which allowed me to fully resurrect my spine and regenerate all five vertebrae to be able to have a new avatar body to be able to do my service and to fulfill my missionary blueprint for this for the rest of this life. So that being said, I'll put a link of how I became Miracle in the text in this video. I'll also put a link to the time where I went to Russia in 2007 to document the New Earth Destiny and work with all of the Anastasi-inspired consciousness of how to grow your own food, build your own gardens, create a space of love for your children and your family. I'll put a link in that. If some of you haven't seen that, it's still valid. It's still very inspiring. Those books are still very valid. I'll also be uh, sharing more in person here in Bali. I'll be doing more one-on-ones. I'll also be beginning to share and facilitate things. Um, I'm really excited to bring out um, a video about Zero Light, and I'll be talking about the project. We're in a funding phase right now, so I'm excited to welcome those that have the monetary surplus, that see the language and the value of voidal intelligence, which is dark room therapy. And if that is something they're interested, please reach out to me, DM me, because I'd love to send you our pitch deck and get you involved somehow. But we are looking for investments for the beta prototype. So if that's something that you would love to be interested and in, you've done dark rooms in the past, you totally understand it, and you're ready to dive in with us, please contact me. And I'm wishing you such an incredible new now moment in this year of the dragon. We are in the Emerald Tree Dragon. This is a year of power, of building, of connecting. This is a year of prosperity. The dragon is the 13th sign of the Asian calendar, and it is the most powerful. So we either can ride this dragon new lunar year uh, and surf with so much bliss and love and joy on the crest of this dragon wave, or we are going to be completely eaten and inflamed and engorged by this dragon year and choosing to completely be humbled by this dragon year. So either way, it will then give us the opportunity to rise again, because I believe that we can rise and we can all ride and we can all prosper and we can all thrive in the art of fully living and thriving in NI, which is natural intelligence. Humanity's original primordial birthright. Have a beautiful day. Suksamam Wali, as they say in Bali, Mahalo Keakua. And I'll see you soon.